It's estimated that one and a half million people a year sustain a traumatic brain injury. Often these injuries go unreported and undiagnosed, despite very real and long-lasting sequelae. Mild traumatic brain injury actually, as it turns out, is a much more common problem uh, than anybody realizes. If you then take this number of one and a half million per year and you parse it down <coughs> further, it comes out to about 4,000 a day or about three a minute. So in the course of this interview already, at least three people have sustained a traumatic brain injury somewhere in this country. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate that as many as 50,000 people die each year due to traumatic brain injury. That number is equal to the number of soldiers who were killed during the entire Vietnam War. If you look at traumatic brain injury as a whole, um, uh, there are more uh, incidences of, of that traumatic brain injury than multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injury, breast cancer, and HIV AIDS combined. That's how common it is. Uh, and if you take a look even now what's going on in Afghanistan and Iraq, um, traumatic brain injury, including mild traumatic brain injury, is becoming the signature injury. So it's actually very common. About 15 percent of all the traumatic brain injuries that occur every year are moderate to severe injuries. So that means about 85 percent of them are mild injury. Mild traumatic brain injury is sort of an interesting injury because some people really fly right through recovery with no symptoms. Most individuals recover fairly rapidly and the vast majority recover completely. Uh, so some people will have symptoms for a couple of days or a week or maybe two weeks. Then there's some patients who slowly improve over a several month period. We know from the research that most patients have significant improvement over the first three months. Other people have permanent challenges that they face because of the blow to the head they sustained. So those with permanent consequences from a mild brain injury is about 15 percent. There are some folks who may have a concussion, a blow to the head, um, and then go on to develop some problems, but don't associate those problems with the fact that they've had a concussion or a traumatic brain injury in the past. Um, and if they don't report uh, those problems to their physicians, their physicians then won't make the connection back to a head injury. So um, many feel that, that those numbers are an underrepresentation of what the true problem really is. Thank you.